All right, hello, hello. This is gonna be some fun unboxings of the mermaids. Guys, mermaids, uh, the oceanic tarot. Um, I don't know if I'll open every single one in this one video, but I'm kind of spotlighting them, so check the channel if you wanna check out the other ones, just in case. I might pull charms in. I'm gonna tell you, there was Capricorn energy for sure, so hello Capricorns, if you're watching. Also, of course, the Cancer sign, Piscean, Aries. Uh, yeah, maybe Scorpio as well, okay? Um, some of the other stuff I have planned, which I don't know why, I'm, I just grabbed this. So, for some of the other of you, um, look forward to there. I'm doing some readings with the Garbage Pelt Kids and the books. Um, so maybe when you're getting this, is this is already uploaded, but, or they might already be uploaded. Anyways, I plan on working with the mermaids here a little bit. I got the charms in play, and, uh, after the mermaids, these garbage pill kids are coming into play with some some different messages. I know it's kind of weird how different this is, but so interlinked with whomever is drawn in to watch these. I'm gonna just probably call this an unboxing and uh, you know a message for whoever the beginning message because they're they're new. And so I am doing this during Piscean energy. It is 312 today. And it was so sunny and nice outside. And then all of a sudden, it's it was like, I couldn't tell. Like it was, the storm just came in. And I was like, all right, I'm going to do a video. <laughs> oh, I see the whale tail. I, I think I might do, do charms too, just for fun. But first I'm going to start with this Oceanic Tarot. Uh, this one is 64 page illustrated book. Jane Wallace. I should have on. Uh, let's see how many. Hmm. Psychic sisters. Kim Kardashian. Tracy Emin and Janice Dickinson. Okay. She writes monthly columns for Spirit and Destiny, Soul and Spirit. Hmm. She's the author of My Psychic Stories and co-author of 44 Ways to Talk to Your Angels. Lives in the UK. So I always love, you know, also spotlighting. So this kind of a review as well as unboxing, get to know, working with the mermaids. Uh, this is what I'm going to start with. I also have Karen Kay's artwork by Linda and artwork by Linda Olson. The messages from the mermaids. Some little sea melodies. I kind of peeked at these already with Sagittarius. Okay. This is Jessica Lee enchanting messages from the mermaids and then i feel like i've had this healing waters before with rebecca campbell i know i've had there was other deck before with this oracle card katie louise okay so those are ones i plan on kind of working with each other um and as i unbox them i you know uh, I'm just sharing it. I'm checking it out. They're going to be in order, right? And then I'll give a quick message for whomever is drawn in. Okay, let's just get started. So, like, there might be Gemini, too. Um, Cancer sign. Yeah, there was Gemini. And, tw oh, 66 and 44. <laughs> you, I got 244, so 88. Hmm, the 10s. Okay, this is cool. Let's see. How it opens. Okay. Okay. All right. Kind of cool. So it's a sideways one. Okay. I brought my sea salts in. My sea salts, the red sea salt of Hawaii, red Hawaiian clay sea salt, and a big chunk of raw carnelian. I don't know why, but you know, I like to interplay. The fairies are here with us, the angels too. We even got the triceratops and dragon. <laughs> We're all getting to know the mermaids. We're all here. Okay, let's see. Okay, there's like a page. What is... I have no clue. Okay, here we go. The, this is open. We're starting with The Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. Okay, and I read a little bit about her on the back of the, the book. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, here's the book. The Seahorse again. Order, growth, and choices. Ooh, interesting. I'm excited to check these out. Okay, I'm, of course, the first one most likely is going to be the Fool. Yeah, that Aries energy, the new beginnings jumping in. Look, and I, I love how the dolphins are also here. So the watery energy. So I also see like a little Leo and playfulness too. 
you know, and uh, Aries energy and then Cancer sign Piscean maybe. So even understanding like in March's energy of, uh, you know, a, a Piscean watery and then into this new beginning even. It's like it gets jumping into the water. It gets warmer, playful, new stuff. Nine of Pentacles, gratitude. <gasps> Look at the sea turtle. Okay, this is feeling very abundant and six, like financially having extra to be able to um, do luxurious things, even spend on nicer things, buy the stuff, um, invest in things, go on vacations, things like that, right? Nine of Pentacles and and this freedom. So look at the the turtle. There's earth and water with this, and it's showing gratitude of it. And that's how you also get this abundance i love the mint color hmm. i debated doing it on this setup or not i was gonna okay i'm gonna try and keep them upright by showing them this way all it okay once again there's the pretty so i'm gonna get a quick little message for whoever's drawn in these are very pretty um and look forward to um individual uh zodiac uh zodiac uh yeah your individual zodiac signs uh messages with the mermaids okay okay i'm all okay <laughs> good the only thing i see melodies hmm interesting it's like those are the messages too they're all just little messages but these this is an actual tarot eight of swords feeling restricted Ooh, there's a shark in this one there's a bit of fear unsure um, a little anxiety. It's like sensing danger or something even, but, and there's a time of waiting with this and being patient even, but this is also sometimes shark can be, there's something looming that needs to be spoken about communication. These are thoughts, fears, the shark restriction, feeling restricted page of wands. Oh, gossip. I'm seeing also um, creativity. So about children, um, maybe even about learning something, feeling restricted about practicing uh, a new creative thing. I'm seeing gossip underneath there. What is that? Page of Swords. Oh, this is interesting. I like how these are giving a little, a little word to kind of, hmm, I, I'm, I'm interested. So the seahorse once again reminds me of, um, parenting too. And, um, family and even um, the responsibility and fatherhood. So some of you, um, this is a little masculine, but there's a restrict filling. Um, maybe that, oh, even this pages, look, they're both. Even this could, is stalking, looking and spying. Hmm. So I, I'll see if I decide how to read these upright or down because I can also see this. This is interesting. So there is like a little Leo energy with this. And then we've got that air sign quality. But it's, hmm, underneath there, the drama and Knight of Swords. Okay. Look at the growth of the, the merman, the merperson. As we go from page to night. I appreciate that. I really like that. And these are all the swords. And this is about thoughts, communication, what they're seeing, stalking, spying. If it's in reverse, I feel like when, with this, I feel like it's trying to investigate, research, have knowledge. And then this is putting that knowledge into action. Um, hmm. So I'm feeling restricted. That's interesting. Six of wands, there is success. Okay, now we've got the seahorse energy. This is that uh, feeling very victorious. So interesting enough it really does feel like very a very leo-ish feeling um victorious in whatever you're doing the wands yes so whatever you're trying i mean i'm trying something brand new out and right now this is kind of confusing i'll be honest i'm just reading the cards i'm telling the story and it's the first time well, it's the first time with these um they seem very um easy to read reminds me a little of the fairy tarot that does have another little explanation um i'll see what the book has to say as i dive deeper <laughs> okay 
Page of Pentacles and Four of Swords. Recovery and opportunity. All right, what I'm seeing. I, okay, Leos, are you dealing with Leos or children or something? Um, because there's a lot of children energy, and there's also Earth energy that even that Capricorn energy or Taurus Virgo. But um, look. So interesting enough. Look, it's the same exact kind of image. Um, of feeling a little restricted feeling trapped and this is a rest period like even waiting it out clearing your head even going to sleep needing to rest and heal being patient even because then once again we get the page of pentacles which is also the slowest energy um, for this opportunity so that's so much about being patient with yourself and taking the time for whatever it is you're creating or building. Hmm. Okay, why why is it eight of swords? Oh, the queen of the ocean, the the empress energy. About wealth, abundance. Maybe there isn't even a sense of feeling restricted for movement, for purchases, you know, things like that is slowly growing. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you're when you're younger, you're novice job. You're not making much. Dude, I was, back in my day, it was like $5.25 an hour. <laughs> I remember getting a raise of $6, and I was like, woohoo. Then $7.25. Yeah. Anyways. But you know what I mean? And then even you realize as the life progresses, $20 an hour is still not that good but you're like it's so good but no <laughs> it's barely making it still anyways there's all these other things so it takes time letting yourself you know and this is nurturing something that you want to have as maybe even a career where you can have this opportunity where you're putting the money in for um, your own personal growth or, you know, saving or, I mean, there's needs and wants. Wow. All about abundance and wealth. Even this is the mother, the empress, the queen of the ocean. Interesting. Usually this is, you know, Taurus, Libra energy. And maybe with this deck, this definitely has more, um, Piscean, Gemini, a Leo. Oh, destruction. The towers underneath there. This is like a storm that comes in on the boat. Wow. What do I see here? 313. Ooh. That's like tomorrow. This is a wish fulfillment, though. Nine of Cups. So this. Someone was wishing, like, someone feels very restricted and stuck in their head, even oh, oh, the mother, an empress, the feminine, the the queen of the ocean. I'm, I, It's just calling her queen, but this is card number three, so I feel like this empress energy. Then we've got the tower coming in. Um, maybe even while someone's needing to rest or heal, there is this, look at this powerful storm. This reminds me of fluorite. I don't know why, but this ocean color reminds me of, like, crystals and rocks this is even like I said like I, I was like oh the storm's coming in and then there's patience taking your time getting a wish fulfilled king of pentacles and trusting in that trusting that if you put in that work and you're going towards uh what brings you happiness? Because we've got dolphin play here. It's wish fulfillment. A lot of maybe even Virgo and 13, 9, 9, 13. Getting a wish fulfilled, even regarding children. Okay. King of Pentacles, fatherhood. And you got the turtles here too. So even some Taurus and trusting. That you will, this is understanding the flow of give and take to and trusting that you'll be taken care of. You, If you do the work, you find your what your passion is, what you love, 
you will be successful. You you will be abundant. Because you got oh so much about abundance. and So Capricorn too, right? Ace of Cups underneath there. New love. Two of Cups. Okay, maybe I should shuffle these a little more. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So much earth energy, guys. A soulmate. Feeling very... Um, Happy, joyful, new love, invigorating. Knight of Pentacles. So, so much of the earth with the water is so fascinating. There's loyalty with this. Because it's like there's a, de a determination and patience and trusting. They're all upright with this. And then kindness and being generous and giving. They're coming in even like being generous and giving. Like each of them are having something that they're looking at it and they're looking at it with, all right, who can I give this to? Like they're all like on a mission to go share. Knight of Pentacles coming in with a, a gift, an offer, you know, a surprise that you can tangibly touch, feel, and then being kind and generous and giving again. Queen of Cups, loving, compassionate, sensitive. Kindness. So, like I said, we're kind of reviewing these. These are nice. I'm seeing Queen of Cups as being Scorpio very strongly because we all, I'm getting this transformation in death. So, we got the tower and this, um, you know, like, so, uh, wow, this is kind of crazy. So, there's the storm, the lightning, the fire, the, the sinking ship, and then there's transformation. It's at the end. It's now... This now is, uh, so that that is over with this journey, right? And so now this boat, there's all the shark there too, and all the other fish. And so this is now becoming a home to some, a whole nother species, you know? That's that ending. Whoa, and then we've got the sun. Happiness. So something transforming will create this happiness and coming up to the surface joy justice libra energy finding balance in partnership even judgment and justice wow so self-reflection that's what it says i see this judgment of what brings you happiness, even your childhood type things and how you've transformed through life. And on maybe times where um, you felt the di divine presence of being protected and saved. Okay, I heard the weirdest thing and this is making me think about it. I mean, we this shipwreck here, this tower. Okay, um, I saw this thing about a nurse and I cannot remember her name. But she survived all of these... Uh, boat wreck thing. She's a nurse on it. So the Titanic, the Oceanic, and another one. I'll have to, if I remember it, I'll bring it up again. But it's showing like, even that judgment is getting a second chance. Like, I'm overcoming. Whoa. No way. And then we have justice and the star. Hope and healing. All right. Things being fair, someone getting a second chance. Um, there's hope. Healing with family. Oh my gosh, a completion. Hope. This is the Aquarian energy. There's some Taurus even. Let's see. Feeling very um, loved and cared for. Uh, wow, even at your home. This reward even. This completion and like your home, people there taking action. There's hope, healing with family, home. This seems to be something people want. And and everything, the give and take. Uh, six, four being spotlighted again, but the give and take um, is fair with it. Everyone has does their part. Everyone pitches in. Um, people aren't treated unequally. The hermit, a completion, contemplation, generosity. Hmm. 
this is even you know so now we got some virgo energy here but look, look i love the hermit with this he's like sitting in his cave with a jellyfish contemplation in in their head thinking these things about about how to keep things fair six nine a lot of gemini two and nine six and part of destiny nine ten the will of fortune everything seems upright with this right everything's good and and understanding that that flow of it and the the balance of it and knowing that there were times in your life where you were on a down cycle and and people came in and helped you i sure hope they did and then that can be returned the other way so i'm going to give an example like when you're younger clearly there's times where you're in more need okay um and it, i'm not just i'm just saying it starting out in in life of figuring out who you are and what you're going to do with your life and how you're going to make money you know to live um and the give and take being generous and trusting but there were times where like you know parents my parents gave to me and then there were times where i would when i was able to turn around and give to them or you know others and oftentimes it's not always about like having them pay you back but there's a the beauty of pay it forward because that being able to help someone it feels it does something so magical for your heart and um hmm purpose and, and even your own struggles and it helps give people inspiration to keep going when they're in a tough time okay wow the world 1021 and the chariot regeneration is what the world is the world to me is also the a completion of that cycle what goes around comes around and then there's taking this action movement so it's like time to act 721 even the the seahorse there's a lot of masculine energy with the seahorse too with even with the water sign with the cancer sign someone from your past or even this reflection on the past nostalgia seven six hmm oh maybe that's where there was some gossip or stalking even on from your child like this is this is innocent this is child but this is looking in on someone from your past someone that you you've known for a long time six seven even potentially oh a queen of wands even okay aries leo sagittarius there's passion there maybe there is a little gossip about that i'm always gonna pay attention out the seahorses keep coming out with everyone with everyone and waiting patiently and and what you've invested in see this is taking that time the work taking the action what gives you this drive and this passion wow okay for some i feel like aries um page of swords some of us watching aries that wasn't completed yet or something but i'm seeing also this page over here looking back at someone from their childhood or someone that they have this past life connection of a time when they were generous or giving maybe they needed a car maybe they needed a ride or gas or something and reflecting on even when you were younger and giving giving help and feeling very passionate she has two sea there's so many seahorses in this deck of course there is and then the sea turtles oh i'm so excited i do have a seahorse maybe i'll bring the seahorse up the magician underneath there okay creating wealth creating what you need having everything you need to manifest so you have a financial backing you got an ace of pentacle an ace of swords and an ace of want the passion and the love and support self-love your truth your you know what i mean all of these things to do what you need the hammerhead sharks in this one the dolphin oh i like the hammerhead shark so this is even someone taking action and investing money time effort whatever you're putting that action into right to create and manifest what it is you're i like the hair on this this is usually to me gemini i pull gemini or aries energy oh look even potentially see this compassion and manifestation and imagination so this is piscean energy too 
but being very loving. Look, Page of Cups to me is very, there, there's so much love. Manifesting what you love, me, you know, and these can be apologies even sometimes if they need to be. Like, because we have proposals even. This is a couple love, right? Offering. Showing love. Oh, the moon sign. No way, we're moving totally into the moon. Piscean. Oh, the sea. Look at the moon here. A proposal. This is also being careful about illusions because this moon is upright. So there is something a little hidden, a little unknown with this lobster. Maybe there is a little bit of a financial pinch somewhere. We also have what do the seals make you think of? The seals. Okay, this is moving forward very calmly. No longer feeling, whoa, see the growth. Moving on. These are beautiful. I'm just letting them flow. 25.51 on the clock. I think I'm going to go through these, guys. So um, this other one with Karen K, the messages from mermaids and uh, the healing waters. I'll probably do separate videos. Right now, I just gave them a good shuffle. and I'm just letting, I want to kind of flow through and look at them all. They, they're very, so take it how it resonates, right? Um, I am just letting them flow out and seeing how they come through. So new passionate idea. Uh, someone, oh, this is someone taking action, even let it, leaving some stuff behind. Maybe there was some sense of feeling abandoned in the past um, or a loss of money. And sometimes that's a thing, like going after something. Sometimes it's a risk. It's kind of risky with this. Or even um, going on your own and abandoning something else. Three of Swords, five, three. So there could be, okay, as I flow, we're getting to these, these tougher ones now, right? I'm seeing a sense of feeling abandoned and heartache. These could be some things to work on, even financial, you know, because this can mean feeling loss and heartache, abandonment, um, loss of things. So I'm feeling heartbroken. Um, maybe there is a sense of looking at their options, trying to figure out wh where to find love again, how to heal some heartbreak. 3-7 Piscean, 7-8. So we're going right through it, Cancer Syrian too. Looking at the option, some of it's illusionary. But then this Eight of Cups is walking away from all the rest. Like, because there's too much confusion even sometimes and letting go of things that you thought you loved and cared about. This is emotionally walking away. And take, yeah, action. <coughs> Emo emotionally detaching and then going and then taking that action towards uh, what makes you feel victorious and successful. And whatever you're you're feeling passionate about, it says you're going to be successful. And you should endure and even defend yourself, even 6-7. <laughs> Some Gemini's. 7-6 seven, even. Okay, we're kind of going in flow now. Maybe I didn't get it shuffled enough. But I see 6-7-8 even. So I'm going to let it still go. Keep that in mind as I'm reading these. Okay. Travel. Okay, Eight of Wands is travel. Taking action towards and communicating even. I feel like this is someone coming. This is an action of coming to communicate. Um, traveling towards you. Maybe having this endurance. And even maybe someone was blocking or protecting. They could have been blocked. Because there was feeling conflict even regarding their thoughts in their head. Very confused. Oh, because there was some drama. Yeah, yeah, look at this. The Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Having resilience. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies. Some of this communication. And the thoughts in your head. There's some fear. There's the shark behind her. There may be even boredom. There's apathy. Um, and maybe that's part of the sadness even. 4-5, 45. And anxiety. Holy crap. Boredom, sadness, and anxiety. Five, nine, and four, five. Nine, nine. And this is anxiety, sadness, sleepless nights. 
And so I need to have strength, feeling stable. Look, this is the, the Leo energy so neat. Um, the strength card here. The net freeing these fish. Having the strength to tear open and give this freedom from this anxiety and sadness. Maybe something was felt trapped or caught. Like, that's what we started with. And there was the two of wands, a uh, vision, but still having a decision. Looking, you know, taking action, but still needing... Oh, two nine, even being very defensive. Twenty nine. The Chiron, the wounded warrior. Someone is at a crossroads and they feel like they can't. This is not feeling like you can trust someone. You've got to defend or protect yourself. Even your own achievements. Nine eight. Your work. Defending. Eight, seven, from someone stealing them from a loss because there's seven of swords. Someone, and maybe there is wounded healer from, from theft because seven of swords is also a theft from, from your work, from your, your achievement, your money, your success, competition, seven, five, someone who is competing, wants to fight, steal, Maybe there is even physical. You know what I mean? Someone who is competing against you, trying to steal your ideas, your money, your stuff, your ambition. Mm. King of Swords, upright. There's also, interesting enough, this the shark is also behind the King of Swords. The King of Pentacles, remember, had the, the tortoise. Or, excuse me, the sea turtle. So there is this this drive and ambition. There's thoughts, communication about clarity and speaking, overcoming fear even from that. Ten of Wands, but there's a huge responsibility taking on a lot. There's a big burden here with this creativity. The lovers. Wow, so I'm only in more Gemini. This this is also maybe choices, but to me it looks like there's two. She seems to be looking over at this king though. Who and it's a heavy burden about something. Seven ten and ten six one oh six. Ten five, ten seven. So maybe even some some Libra um reunion, three of cups. <laughs> Choices. Maybe there's even sadness from that. Six, five, and five, six. Hmm. They keep all looking over. So we got three of cups here. Wanting to get together, have a celebration, a reunion, a party. This is coming back around, getting like there's emotions there. It's there's good feelings, good emotions. Uh maybe even from childhood, right? Or even with the children. Whoa, this creativity, this page of wands. Maybe there is a fire sign child. And maybe even masculine or feminine. I see both. Um, joyful, a new beginning. Maybe you're getting together because there's a new baby or a new child. Even in your, in your family. Or this is this new creative thing you want to... This is jumping into a new creative venture. Trying something new. And gaining wisdom. Jumping into new wisdom. Wow. Even we got Aries Taurus energy. But high priest and feeling very... Uh, high priest to me is very committed to what to what you're going to learn. To this wisdom. And committing yourself to this new creative venture. And practicing and trying it. And being victorious. With truth. Communication. Wisdom and truth. 5-1. Five, 5-6. Five, we got some Taurus energy. Ace two. Okay, there's a crossroads. So this is overcoming that. Look, the the shark is right here now. Even cutting through that fear, uh, facing your fears, communicating, getting clarity, <laughs> victory. That's interesting. Two of swords though says that it's at a crossroads, unsure. So I'm I'm also seeing you know Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic, um. A little unsure, but trying to have compassionate understanding. That that 
try patients even giving uh letting someone make their own decision about their own prosperity about where they want to invest and being wise and smart um a new gift you know money alone where to invest your your money and being patient when waiting for the right time the right needing that motivation inspiration Ah, oh, the king of the ocean. This is the emperor, even. Hmm. Giving order and guidance, even. The father, the masculine, the husband. The angel of the ocean. Is this temperance? I think so. Balancing things. This is so healing. And second chance. Sagittarian, two of pentacles. Look, she's also balancing this these two cups of love, the soulmate, balancing spending time together and time apart, healing, this infinity angel. And then you got the two of pentacles. There's always choices and options, and this is also a good a good thing to look at your options and decide. See, there's something that's over here. 210. This is the ending. An ending with something. This is these thoughts and backstabs. Betrayal. Maybe someone was juggling what to do. And that's done. That's the completion. And getting back to practicality. Even King of Wands is taking action. You know, and doing... There's all these kings uh, all of them with the with the seahorse pulling in really shows about Im the importance of fatherhood and being a good parent okay and mothers as well but i just hmm maybe king of pentacle <laughs> there's trusting and keeping things interesting so aries leo sagittarius the vortex that's Okay, this is the death card. This is a devil card. Ooh. Temptation. Understanding this temptation. 15. 215. 6 2. So we've got. So even once again, trusting intuition, High Priestess, this could be something that could suck you in, this temptation. It will lure you and draw you in. So there's some... That's like a warning. Someone trusting their intuition about something. That's even the Capricorn or maybe devil energy of the juggling. Someone trusting their intuition about how to become abundant with gratitude. Um, and luck. Ten of Pentacles, nine, ten. Two, nine, nine, ten. She's got the wisdom... And understands the flow of give and take. Of balancing things. This lucky energy. The Virgo even. Someone's in limbo. Stuck. Uh, well, all the pentacles. <laughs> Looking at the high priestess. So we got a lot of Virgo. Men and women right here. But also Pisces, Libra. Recognition for collaborations and working together. And then even feeling safe and secure. And this is the holding. Even holding. Putting it, your money in a place where it is safe. Um, the final card is about saving. So understand there's a time. There's the ebb and flows of everything. Supply and demand too. Okay, I went through all of the deck. I hope you guys enjoy. That was pretty. I don't know. It was interesting to read. I will be incorporating these later. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.